Hi, I'm Liz Robertson. I'm the pastoral care worker at Greenford Baptist Church. And just this week, I was remembering that before lockdown, uh, I was sensing that God would want to challenge our ways of thinking, our mindsets, uh, because I think we get locked in to a particular way of thinking and we accept the status quo. And I think God was wanting to invite us to allow him to expand our minds and the way we think and not to accept that this is how it is, um, but to actually dream big with him and uh, have our minds opened up more to the myriad of possibilities that we as his children have access to and not to accept the same old, same old, that this is how we do things and this is how it's always going to be. And then I thought about what's happened to us as church during this period of lockdown, that it's, it's forced us, if you like, to see things differently. It's forced us to do things differently. And I would say that when we say things like, church is shut, when is church opening again? that I would challenge that and say the church isn't shut. The building is shut, but the church, that's us. We're always open and active. And yes, we don't meet together physically, but the church is still full of the Holy Spirit. And we are finding ways of connecting with people and wherever we are, we are church. So the church isn't closed. The building might be, but the church, you and me, we are open. And it made me think of Romans 12, uh, chap uh, yeah, Romans 12, verse 2, where Paul says, don't copy the behaviour and customs of this world, but let God transform, uh, transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. So we're changing the way we think about church. We know how online on a Sunday morning, that's a new way of seeing church and people are joining online. In the uh, Passion Translation, it says, stop imitating the ideals and opinions of the culture around you, but be inwardly transformed by the Holy Spirit through a total reformation of how you think. You see, if we remain in a certain viewpoint, we can be restricting and impeding what God wants to say and do in and through us, his church. If we don't think about the possibilities of new things, of um, seeing things differently, then we are holding back possibly what he wants to do. So I would encourage you today to ask him to help you in your thinking, to have fresh thinking about church, about yourself, about God, and uh, not to accept the status quo, but to uh, be um, proactive in asking God to show you new things, in fresh ways. So I found a, a, a series of statements that clearly I'd written, is in my handwriting, that I'd like to read out to you. It says, now is the time, sorry, now is not the time to recede. Don't hold back. Now is the time to step up. Now is the time to remember his promises. 
Now is the time to speak out the words of scripture over yourself and others, your family, friends, enemies, work colleagues and neighbours. Bring your requests to him. Speak out your heart to him. Then pause, wait and listen. Meditate, contemplate. He has not left us empty handed. Pray, pray, pray. So some of those statements might resonate with some of you as way, ways of encouragement, as ways of spurring you on. I had a verse this week that I believe the Lord uh, gave me in Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. Our relationship with God is not dependent on circumstance. How we feel may be impacted by our circumstances, yes, but we have the offer of the joy of the Lord that is uh, independent from circumstances. That's what marks us out as different as Christians, that our circumstances could be difficult ones, but we have the joy of the Lord because we are his children and all those promises in scripture. If you need to uh, find some to reflect on this week, uh, Google promises of God in scripture and there you'll find them. They can be an encouragement, particularly if life is hard and uh, our circumstances are difficult. So I want to pray for a fresh release today for each one of us of the joy of the Lord. Yes, Lord, I ask for a fresh impartation of your joy for each one of us, that it would bubble up from within, a gift from you that would again strengthen us today. And I pray, Lord, that that would be an encouragement to each one of us, regardless of circumstances, that you are with us, you are for us, and you have a whole array of things for us going forward. Help us open our minds afresh to you today and allow you to show us what you have for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.